Hey guys, Masha, you're interrupting my video, okay? Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I am going to be doing my lipstick declutter video. This is gonna be a super long video, and I wasn't really sure how to do this video. I didn't know if I wanted to bring my camera down to look at all the lipsticks, or if I should just show you guys the lipsticks while I'm sitting here talking. So I think that's what I'm going to do, because, um, it's just easier for me to do that than have to try and figure out how to put the video down, I mean my camera down, um, to look at all the other products because I do use a tripod, but anyway, I'm gonna do it that way. I'm just gonna show you guys them and, you know, tell you my decision about whether I'm gonna keep them or I'm going to toss them. Um, I have so many lipsticks, guys. I have a whole entire box full of these and I have recently gotten some more so some of them are newer some of them are so old so we're just gonna get through this and we're going to see which ones I like I'm probably gonna sit here and be swatching a ton because I love to swatch lipstick so if this is something you guys are excited to watch I am so excited that you're here if this is something that you're not interested in I will not take any offense to it I totally get it. Watching a bunch of lipsticks is probably a little bit boring, but to me, I love videos like this, and I'm thinking I'm gonna do this with my eyeshadow collection as well as my highlighter collection. These videos will be coming up periodically through this year on YouTube, just so I can get through my stash and just, you know, kind of just get rid of some stuff that I've been holding on to for so long. And um, that is first it. one I'm gonna show you is this Mana Kadar. Um, I think this is a lip stain. It's a lip locked lip stain. It's what's on my mouth right now. I got this in my lip monthly and I'm definitely keeping this one because I really like this color. I love the shine and it lasts for a really long time. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Um, I'm going to show you guys my trading Mecca because these are some of my favorite liquid lipsticks. I don't normally like wearing liquid lipsticks because they're so drying and I don't like when my mouth feels like it's so super dry. But Trading Mecca's liquid lipsticks are very thin and they're very comfortable. And I was just sent a PR package from them, which I'm gonna show you guys the eyeshadows in another video. But I was sent Spice and Windy. They're these two colors right here. And I'm definitely keeping these two. These are beautiful. It's this is a really pretty nude. And this is like a very pretty, it's like a gray purple. I'm gonna show it to you real quick. It's like a gray purple and I think it's so pretty and I cannot wait to wear that. And Spice, let me show you this one. This is gonna take forever, guys. This one is Spice and look how pretty that is. So I'm definitely keeping these two for sure. And then I have this other one right here. This is Pumpkin and I love this shade so much. I'm definitely keeping, like I said, I'm definitely keeping these Trading Mecca ones. They're just so comfortable for a liquid lipstick and I really, really like them. I like that they're a thinner, formula than a thick formula because I just like it personally. I like it. So I'm definitely keeping those. Um, this is the Smashbox Always on Liquid Lipstick Rouge A. I got this in my BoxyCharm and I don't have a lot of Smashbox lipsticks. So I'm definitely keeping that one just because I don't have a lot of shades like this. I don't wear a lot of nudes that look this light, but I want to keep this in my collection because I don't have very many of these. Um, the next one is this NARS Lip Stain, and wait, is it? This is a Velvet Lip Glide, and this is in the color Toy. I am not big on this color. This is like a brown, plum, a brown plum shade, and it's just, if you can tell, it's very patchy, and I don't like this formula at all, so I am tossing this one. My toss box is back here. Next one is this LA Splash. We got this in our... Um, Riggie's Cold Crushes, and this is a very dark purple. It's like a magenta purple. It's right there. I am not big on the LA Splash liquid lipsticks. I don't like them very much. I love this packaging. It is so beautiful, but I don't like this formula, so in the trash it goes. The next thing is the DLS. Actually, I'm not, I keep saying trash, but I'm putting all of this aside. I'm going to let my family go through it. I'm going to let my sisters and my kids who want to play in makeup, um, my, my, my sisters and my mom and everyone, I want them to go through everything first before I toss it. If it's super old, then I'm not going to let, you know, I won't let anyone use it, but I am going to put everything aside for them to go through. This is the DLS Dirty Little Secrets Matte Liquid Lipstick in this deep shade. It's a red. I do not like this liquid lipstick at all. This is definitely going to the side. The next is this ColourPop. And this is in the color, I don't know. 
Lex. It's like a deep brown red. I've had this for over a year and or even longer and I'm definitely getting rid of that. The next one is this it is the ColourPop Color in Cheap Thrills. This is actually a really pretty color. Um, oh, oh, it's dripping everywhere. Look at this. This is bad. All right. It dripped on my hand right there. Oh my goodness. I've never had a liquid lipstick do it. Okay, so that's definitely a goner. Okay, the next color I'm going through is the LA Splash Cosmetics, and this is in the color Tiramisu. I do not like LA Splash liquid lipsticks at all. Uh, this is a very pretty color. It's so pretty. It just does not work well on my lips, but I like it's like a patchy formula and I just don't like the feeling of it, but the color is so beautiful, but I'm definitely getting rid of this one. The next one is this clay or clay melting lip pot. We got this in our, it's a melting lip powder. We got this in our Allure. This is one of my favorite things I've ever gotten from Allure or from a subscription box. It is such a beautiful color. I wear it all the time. I wear it so much that it's actually um, like, almost gone but that's the color right there this is just such a beautiful like it's like a rosy red it is so pretty it's in the color desert rose definitely keeping this one this one is oh i have i think i have three of these let me see yeah i have three of these i just don't know where the other one is this these are the pacifica natural minerals power of love lipsticks i got these at tj maxx they're in the color sweet one and nudie red these Stink. like they're just not a good they stink and I don't wear them often they have this really weird smell to them and I am just not I just don't like them I'm showing you all my my lipsticks I'm showing you liquid lipsticks and regular lipsticks because that's how I'm gonna do it I don't put them I don't separate them in my drawer or in my like makeup display I don't separate them so I'm definitely getting rid of these the next thing is this Girlactic in posh I love this lip color I got this in my boxy charm I wear this all the time it is that one right there it is so pretty love it the formula is great it is a wonderful liquid lipstick I am keeping this it is a liquid lipstick that is comfortable is so important to me for me to actually want to wear it and that one is so comfortable definitely keeping those for sure see the LA splash one it doesn't even want to come off my hand when I swatch it and when you try to get it off your lips it is hard like really hard to get it off okay the next thing is this color pop um liquid color pop lipstick it's a lippy in glam bag it was from ipsy and the color is right there it is so pretty kind of reminds me of what i'm wearing today except for a matte and i'm definitely keeping this one the next thing is this glow sticks and this is in the color cutie patootie and it is by glow sticks i think glow I I really haven't grabbed for this very much, and because I haven't grabbed for it, I'm not going to keep it because I don't grab for it. I don't think I've ever worn it. Maybe I wore it once. I don't remember the last time I wore that. The next thing is this NYX lingerie, um, and it's in the color Exotic. This is a liquid lipstick, and it is such a pretty color. I love this so much. I just got this, I think, in the beginning of the summer. It's just a really beautiful, deep nude color, and it's very comfortable very very comfortable i really like it and i wear this often and it's one of, it's like a nice big big lipstick and the next thing is this ofra and it's in harlem everyone knows ofra liquid lipsticks they're very comfortable but they're not like the best formula and i do have a hard time wearing ofra liquid lipsticks for me liquid lipsticks are so hard to wear but this is just a very deep red it's kind of like brown almost and i definitely don't wear this shade so i'm going to get rid of that one the next two are more Ofra, and this one is, oh, this is a shade I did not, I don't have the color, and this is Bel Air. I am going to put these aside for my sisters or my mom because these are almost brand new. I just don't wear these often, so I'm going to put them aside. The next thing is this Cosmoholic by Giuliano, and it is, oh, it's one of those, it's that thing that has that light underneath, the LED light. And it's like a gloss. It said it was a liquid, liquid lipstick, but it's more of a gloss. And I do not use this at all. So this is definitely going into the I don't use pile. The next, oh, this is the color Leaf from Trading Mecca. I love this color so much. This is such a pretty color. It's right there. 
that is so beautiful. I'm definitely keeping that one. And it looks like this. If you guys don't know what, who Trading Mecca is, go onto Instagram and type in Trading Mecca. I love their products so much. Okay, the next thing is this Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. I never wear this. I don't even know where it came from, to tell you the truth. Probably one of my boxes, maybe. I never wear it. Definitely going into the get out of here pile. Okay, the next thing is this NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick. This is in the color, I don't know kitten kitten heels this is so old I've had this for years this was probably one of my first red shades that I ever got it like pains me to get rid of it because I loved this so much but it's definitely going into the pile that I don't need anymore the next thing is this color pop ultra matte lip in notion it's this color right here it's just like a berry it is beautiful I love this one and it looks like that. And I am definitely keeping that because I have worn that a few times. Actually, I've worn it a lot. I really like that shade. Okay, the next thing is this Laca Company Cloud Lips. I believe this is the pink shade, yeah. I got this and it's in the shade Cherub and I got this in my Yes Oh Yes last month, I believe. And I have worn it so many times. It's so pretty. It's just a very lightweight lipstick and it's just so beautiful i didn't think i would like such a pink color this nyx epic ink it's a very deep purple like liquidy stain but i don't wear this anymore i used to wear this all the time but it's pretty old so i'm gonna toss it i have these i have these two nyx soft lip creams i wear these so much these are probably some of my favorite shades right here. This is very pink, and this is like a very pretty nude. And this one is in San Paolo, and I'm keeping that one. And this one is in Dublin, and I really like this shade a lot. Then I have this NYX, and this is in the shade Pinky Nude. It's more of a, like a, it's like a shiny, a shiny NYX lipstick right here it's like a gloss but a lipstick together and I really really like it I just don't like the doe foot applicator but I'm definitely keeping this one okay the next one is the tardy I have a bunch of tardiest lip paints these this one is in home home slice and this one is in rose I'm going to toss these because I've had these forever and it's just time to give them up I I just have had these forever and they're very very old so I'm going to toss those this one is in FOMO and I think this is one of my favorite shades yeah that one's one of my favorite shades right there I really like this one I'm gonna keep this one I know it's old but I'm gonna keep it because I really like this shade and it looks like this one you can tell when these are going bad because they have like a very chemical smell to them they start to smell more chemical than you know like a lipstick formula you can tell when they go bad okay the next thing is this and this is the Triffle Cosmetics Lip Parfait. This is a very nude, like very, very nude lip shade. I never wore this. I never wore it. I'm, maybe I'm lying. I might have worn it once or twice, but I never liked it. And I am definitely going to put this aside for my sisters. Here is the Wander Beauty Dual Lipstick. I got this in my Lola Beauty box. And these shades are beautiful. The shades are um, front row and social light. I'm just going to show you what they look like because I'm not going to swatch them, but they look like this. They are so beautiful. I love the formula. They're so comfortable. They're just a great, two great lipsticks that really go with any, um, any eye look that you do. Such go-to shades right here. So I'm definitely keeping those. This is the Trustique lipstick. It's like, I think I got this in, I forget what I got it in, but it's this thing right here looks like this and I don't grab for this often because I just don't it's right here um, but it's so pretty and I think I'm gonna put this up in like my I'm gonna put this on where I keep all my makeup like my everyday makeup because this would be a nice pop of color to keep on to put on my lips if I'm just running out of the house and I need something the next thing is this beauty creations longwear matte lip gloss I don't remember where I got this maybe our boxy charm I don't remember but I never wear this I don't like it it's more of a gloss than it is a liquid lipstick so definitely a goner the next thing is this Maybelline 
matte Superstay Matte Ink, and this is in the shade Fighter. I don't wear this at all. I never have. It's just, this shade is too brown. Like it is, it's just brown. There's no other word for it. It's like a brown shade, and I just don't grab for that ever. So definitely putting that to the side. The next is this Cougar lipstick, and this is in the color, I don't remember. I don't remember, but I wore this so much when I first got it. I absolutely loved this shade so much. It's one of my favorite shades that I got, but I have worn it to death. It's actually like dry. So I'm tossing that one. I'm doing better than I thought I would. I thought I was gonna keep everything. Next thing is this Manicadar Priming Gloss Stain. And I never wear this. I got this in one of my first boxes when I first started getting subscription boxes. I never really wear this, wore this, so I'm gonna toss that. The next thing is this Milani Lip Cream in the color Afford, nope, Adorable. And it looks like this, and I am going to toss this because I never grab for it. Just never, ever grab for it. It's just sitting in my drawer doing nothing. Next is this Kiss Me. I think I have a few Kiss Me's because I have this subscription. I don't like these at all. These are in the shades Pillow Talk and Satin Sheets. I do not like Kiss Me um, lipsticks. They're actually from the um, subscription, the like where Morphe Me is from. There's, I forget what it's called. Um, I do not like these at all. The, the formulas are terrible. They're too drying. The shades are beautiful. Like if you were to wear these shades, they'd be so pretty, but they're just so uncomfortable. So I'm tossing those. I'll toss any of those that I find. Um, this is a Butter London Lippy Bloody Brilliant. I've, I don't even know I had this. And it looks like this. I didn't even know I had that, so I'm definitely going to swatch it. Oh, that's pretty. Right there. I'm going to keep this because I didn't know I had it, and it has like a little sharpener on the bottom that's cute. Definitely going to try that. Next one. thing is this Alme lipstick. It's in the color 20 Pink Light. I'm going to get rid of this one. It's just a very pink lipstick and I never wear it ever 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 um the next thing is this model and company and it's in the color kitty it looks like this and the color is like a nude satin color right there and I'll keep this one because it's pretty the next thing is this Japanese li lipstick and it is this color right here that I never grab for this color right here and I don't know what the color is let me see it doesn't say what the color is but I don't like this I actually don't really like Japanese products for some reason they just don't work well on me but the packaging is very pretty see so I'm gonna get rid of this one the next thing is this bodyography and it is in the color maple sugar and this was one of my favorite lipsticks to wear ever and I'm not getting rid of this one because this one it was one of my favorites wait I wore this all the time and almost every video look how much I used <laughs> like I I went in on this lipstick and I did a good job and it's just so pretty it's like this perfect shade and it's so comfortable and it's so pretty and I love it a little bit of red a little bit of brown pretty 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 okay the next thing is this and this is the Irish cream lipstick and I don't know who this is by I don't know who this is by but it looks like this and I am tossing it because I don't know who it's by and I don't know how long I've had this. So I'm just going to toss it because I just haven't had, I just don't know where it's from. Um, the next thing is Mox. This is a color Moxie by Bare Minerals and Bare Minerals. And this is a really pretty shade. I just got this in one of my subscription boxes and it's, or I got this as a, um, as like a trial size gift in one of my purchases and it's so pretty it's right there I really like this one so I'm gonna keep it it's just cute and little and I really like it I'm trying to go as fast as I can because I know this is gonna be so long okay the next thing is this ColourPop lippy stick in the color candy paint and it looks like this and the shade oh is stuck and it looks like this 
and I love this shade so much, but I don't know if maybe it's too old. It's falling out. I've had it for a really long time and I wear it a lot. Um, so I'm going to put this in my maybe pile. Is it too old? Maybe. Will I put on my lips? Probably. Okay. The next thing is this NYX full throttle lipstick in the color FTLS sidekick. And it looks like this is just a lipstick from NYX. It's actually really pretty. Um, but it is old, old, old. You can tell even for a lipstick, I can barely swatch it because it's so old. It's right there. So old, tossing it. Goodbye. The next is this City Color Creamy Lips in this very bright pink. I got this in my Lip Monthly last month. I'm going to keep it because I just haven't given it a chance yet. The next is this Folklore, and it is in the color Cardinal. I don't know where I got this. Maybe, I don't remember where I got it, but it's just a very red, a beautiful red, and it's just a liquid lipstick. So I, I mean, just a regular lip pencil. I think I'm gonna keep it. That's a pretty color. Yes, it is. Okay, the next is this Melted, Too Faced Melted Liquify Long Wearing Lipstick in the color Jelly Donut. It's a very bright pink, and I am definitely going to get rid of this. I do not like the formulas of the melted lipsticks. I don't know, I just don't like them. The next thing is this, a Desi New York High Definition Liquid Lipstick. We got this in our BoxyCharm. I never wear it. It's just something that I don't wear. When I first got it, I was like, oh, I'm gonna got it. I'm gonna... That doesn't even make sense. When I first got this, I was like, I'm gonna hate this. I'm not gonna wear it. And I did like it. I wore it a lot, and then I just don't wear it anymore. The next thing is this ColourPop Ultra Liquid Lipstick, and this is bad. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's separated in there and there's water inside. And that just means it is super old. I've had this for two years. This is in the color Chili Chili. And it's old and I gotta throw that out. Here is another Tardius lip paint. And this is in the color Choker. And I'm going to toss this one. This is just, I've had it forever. When I first started doing my videos, I started buying all of these. And I, um, I just don't use them anymore. Bye. Next is the another Tardius lip paint, and this and then this is in the color Hangry, and this is one of my favorite colors that I got when I first started making videos. This is just such a pretty color, but it's so old; it doesn't even work anymore. It's like literally dried out. Why do I keep things for so long? Tossing it. Here is the Colored Rain Liquid Lipstick in Sugar. And I don't have any other Colored Rain lipsticks. I think I got this from the Ricky Colt Crush's website. I'm going to keep it just because I don't have any. This is the Glitter Flip, the Seate London Glitter Flip in the color Infamous. I really like this. It's just so fun. You put it on your lips, you let it dry, then you rub your lips together and it's very glittery and pretty so I just got this I think like six about six months ago so I'm gonna keep it just because it's fun and I don't have anything else like it so I'm keeping this one the next is the flower beauty coral crush lipstick and I don't like this color at all I just purchased this probably about two months ago and I just don't like the color so I'm going to put this to the side and someone else can go through it and see if they like it but it's pretty packaging Okay, the next is this Bobbi Brown color in Brocade. It looks like this. I got this from one of my friends, Susie. She sent me a bunch of lip, different lipsticks from the Ulta Favorites, I believe, and or Sephora Favorites, and look how beautiful that color is. I love that so much. I love this color so much. I just put it on my lips. That's how it swatches. Mm -mm -mm. So pretty. Definitely keeping this. This is the Julep Lip Butter in Macaroon. I've had this for at least two years. Definitely getting rid of it. It's just a nude right here. I don't ever wear it anymore. I never pick it up. I never go for it. Getting rid of it. I'm doing really well. I'm really proud of myself. Okay, this is the ColourPop in Still Crazy. It's one of their new lipstick luxe things. I forget what they're called. Um, and this is so pretty. I love this color. And I wear it a lot. It's right there. Definitely keeping that ips um, ipsy. ColourPop did a really good job on our lipsticks. This is the Ardell liquid lipstick. And it's in the color Slow Blow. 
I mean lipstick in the color slow blow it looks like this I never wear it I don't think I've ever worn it since I got it and it's just I'm just not interested in the color and it's more of a sheer lipstick than a matte or like a full opaque lipstick so tossing that this is the ColourPop and Hello Kitty Ultra Satin Lip in Lock Diary. I got this in my Ipsy or one of my bags and I don't wear it often but I'm gonna keep it. This is the Pretty Vulgar Lipstick in My Lips Are Sealed and it's like a um, metallic lipstick and it's very pretty. I'm gonna keep this just because I don't have very many metallic lipsticks like this. Um, this is the In touch this is the touch and soul metalist liquid foil lipstick duo i never use this it, it actually looks like i have used it but i did not use that i i've only used it maybe once or twice Mama's definitely going to toss this one this is the Ofra long lasting lipstick in manhattan i am going to keep this one because it's just a very beautiful color is it in there scarlet I didn't. I didn't what you didn't see it no. okay this is, this is just a really beautiful color, and I'm going to keep this one because I just like the color. This is another ColourPop lipstick in Layover, and it's just a beautiful nude, and I really enjoy it, and I'm going to keep it because I did just get it. It's right there. So, keeping this one. What? This is the... I don't know what color this is, but it's in Coral Canyon. Oh, I, f I think I got this in my Lola, and I was I was making fun of it. It's a very bright pink. It's not coral. It's pink, and I don't ever wear it. It looks It's right there on my knuckles. Never wear it. Tossing it. Someone else can use it if they want to. This is the Beauty Bang Lipstick in Hoodie, and it looks like this. I am not going to keep this one. I just, it's like a metallic brown and I just don't like it. It's more of like a lip topper than anything else. And I just haven't liked this one. I just never really wore it. So I'm going to put that to the side. I have a NYX lip butter and it is in the color Lifeguard. It's just like a red. It's more of like a brown red than a red red, but I don't wear it often. So I'm not going to keep this. Um, I'm not going to keep that. This is the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I used to really like these, but since I have so many different colors, I don't wear this often, so I'm gonna put this aside. Maybe my sister will wear it. This is the Extreme Matte Tint Velvet by Kaylin. I don't wear this ever, so I'm gonna put this to the side. This is in the color Kaylin, like I said. This okay. is the Bite Beauty in albergine and i really or albergine i don't know which it is but i really like this shade it's it came in a set there's two more i think or maybe three more but this is so pretty it's just a purple and i love that color so much bite beauty has really really great like um bite beauty has really great lipsticks they're some of my favorite to wear they're so comfortable this is the cherie cosmetics chic nude liquid lipstick i never wear it i'm going to put this to the side this is the the sticks cosmetics in red and the packaging is super cool it's just one of those super cool packaging lipstick lipsticks but the top kind of like always gets screwed up and as you guys can tell i never really wore it so i'm going to put this aside for somebody else maybe they'll like it this is the ofra liquid lipstick in pasadena this is so old. I've had it forever. It was one of my favorite shades, but I do not wear it anymore because it's so old. I don't know why I kept it, so I'm going to toss it. This is the ColourPop liquid lipstick in Creeper, and it looks like this. It's just a very bright red, and I'm going to keep this one. This is the liquid, the soft matte lip cream by NYX, and it is in the color Monte Carlo, and I love this so much. I used to, I'm going to keep this. I used to always wear red lips, lipstick. I never wore any other color, just red. Um, as you guys can tell, I have, so many I have so many different shades of red. This is the Power of Love Natural Lipstick by Pacifica. This is in the color Sweet One. I am tossing this and putting it to the side. This is the Stila Etoli, I think. I don't really know how to say it. Etoli, Otoli. And this is just a pink lipstick right here. I don't have very many Stila lipstick so I'm gonna keep this one just because it's Stila but it is bright pink super bright pink um, but I'm gonna keep it 
This is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Beautycon, and it looks like this. This was one of the box. I got this from one of the Beautycon boxes, and this is just a nude lippy right here. I'm gonna keep it because it's just something I can throw on my lips as a pop of color, just to you know use it. This is the Noya lick. This is the Noya lipstick, very small one in the color Smoke, and there it is. I don't even remember where I got this and it's right there I just don't think I would wear it so I'm gonna put this over here I'm sure it's good this is the Rimmel lipstick in the color berry rich and it is just a berry shade right here I've had this for a really long time I'm gonna to toss it just because I've had it forever it kind of looks like it's sweating um, here is a Stila liquid lipstick in the color area or Araya, and it is so pretty. I wear this a lot. I'm keeping this. I have an elf looks an elf lipstick in the color Ravishing Rose. I'm going to put this to the side and not keep it. Let one of my sisters or my mom use it. This is the ColourPop color Barracuda, and it's an ultra satin lippy, and I'm going to keep it because I like the shade. I have a few of these little tiny ColourPop liquid lipsticks, but I don't know where they all are. This is in the color More Better. I like this shade a lot, but I've had it for a really long time, so I'm going to toss it because I don't think that I should use it anymore. This is the Jordana, Jordana lipstick in Cherry. It is a red red, but when you swatch it, it's more of a berry. So it's not cherry, it's a berry, but I'm gonna toss this one because I don't wear this. Next is this BC Beauty Concepts liquid lipstick. It's brown and I don't ever wear it. I think I got this from TJ Maxx. This is the Pure liquid lipstick in Fever. It's just a, like a really pretty reddish berry tone, more like a brown actually. Um, I don't wear this a lot, but I do remember liking it. This is another Tardius lip paint in the color Square. Oh, Adorbs. And I'm going to toss this. I've had it so long that I don't think it should be on my lips anymore. This is the YSL color. Um, this is a YSL lipstick, and this is in the color, I don't know, it doesn't say, but it's a beautiful red. And I don't grab for this because I just never see it because it's so small, but I am definitely going to keep this one. This is so pretty. Okay, next is this Ofra Long Lasting Lipstick in Milan, and I'm going to put this aside because I have so many reds and I think that somebody else would really like this. Um, this is the, I don't know what this is. It looks like an Ofra lipstick, but I don't see anything on it. It doesn't have any print or anything on it, so I'm going to put it aside. Here's another one of those small little, um, little ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippies, and this is in the color Beeper. I'm going to put this aside for somebody else. Here is one of those Laca Cloud Lips. This is in the color Storm, and I think I remember really liking this one. I didn't think I was going to, but it's like more of a purple. Yeah, it's that right there. It's so pretty. I'm gonna definitely keep this one. These are really good. They're very lightweight, very pretty. Really like these. I really like them a lot, actually. Okay, so this is the, I who is this? This is the Kat Von D in Double Dare. I really like this. I think I got this in my Allure and I wear this a lot. Such a great shade. And it's just a little tiny small lip, uh, a little tiny small lipstick. So it's perfect. My kids are home from school today, just to let you know. Um, this is the Pony Effect and by, Pony Effect by Seal. And I got this in one of my subscription boxes it, from a Korean beauty subscription box. And it looks like this. It's beautiful. It's red and pretty, and I really like it. And I love the packaging. I love the packaging. So I'm going to keep that. Oh, this is one of the first red lipsticks I ever, ever got. I'm going to keep it just because I want to keep it because it was my first, like, favorite red lipstick. This is by, this is by Rimmel. I, yeah, this is the Rimmel Kate Moss um, lipstick, and it is red and beautiful, and I use this so much. Look at all, I mean, I use that so much. It is so pretty, such a good lipstick. That is a true red. Let me just, that is a true red. 
I love that so much. One of my favorite shades ever. Definitely gonna keep it just for sentimental reasons, not for any other reason besides I wanna keep it. Um, this is the Ultimate Stay. I forget who this is by, let me see. Oh, by Catrice. And it is just a lipstick right here. I'm gonna toss this one. I've had this for so long. It's like a another red, as you guys can tell. I really loved reds. This is the lipstick, uh, another red by Rimmel. And it's just red. So I'm gonna toss this, because I have so many reds. Oh my gosh, I have so many reds. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, all right, this is the Tardiest Lip Paint in probably red. Um, it looks like this. I'm going to toss it just because it's so old. I've had this for over two years now. This is the Ju Jouet Lip Stain in Bond. It looks like this. I'm going to keep this. I really liked this. I just don't wear it often because I have so much on top of it. This is the Catrice Ultimate Stay Lipstick in... All that, all that she wants. It's just a nude. It's really pretty. I really, really like this shade. Actually, I think I might keep this shade. It's just so pretty. I really like that shade a lot. I'm gonna keep that just because I, I mean, I know it's old, but it's a lipstick and I, I like that. This is the Luscious Lips Lipstick by Laura Geller. It's the Cherry Almond. I've had this for so long, I'm going to get rid of it. Never wear it. Here's another ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in Clueless. I'm gonna toss this one because it looks like it's separating. Here is the Mellow Matte Liquid Lip Paint. I just received this. I am gonna keep that one. This is in the color Taran. Here is the Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Rose Lip Lipstick and it's just this really pretty pink. Gonna keep this. Here is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Color in the color Seduction, and I'm definitely keeping this. I really like this. I also have another one that I really like that is the same from, you know, the same line, and these are really comfortable and really great to wear. So I really like that. Here is the Palladio Velvet Matte Lip Cream, and it is this shade right here, and I really like it. I really like it. I love wearing it. It's very comfortable. It doesn't dry down like so dry that your lips feel parched. Love it. Here's the Buxom Lick. This is a Buxom liquid lipstick, I think. Yes, it's a Buxom lips liquid lipstick in the color Dominatrix. And it looks like this. It's red. It's very pretty. I'm definitely keeping it. I like the packaging. Um, here is a Sephora liquid lipstick in the color... Rouge. It's just a little red liquid lipstick and I'm almost out of it so I'm going to toss that. Here is the Winky Lux lipstick in the color, I have no idea, Bunny I think. It's just a really pretty nude and I'm definitely keeping this one. See they're kind of like the same, so pretty. Okay, definitely keeping this one and the packaging looks like a little pill. Um, I have the NARS liquid lipstick in Don't Stop. Love this. Such a great red shade. You can see right there. I'm not even going to um, swatch it, but this is one of my favorites to wear ever. Love this so much. It's actually the my profile, pic, my profile picture for my YouTube. That's what I'm wearing on my lips. This is the Juice Beauty liquid lipstick in Gwyneth. I just received this. It's, it's one of those that I don't pick up often because it's so small I never see it but I do like this color so I'm gonna keep it here is a Stila liquid lipstick in the color Pantina and I really like this shade so I'm gonna keep that here's another one of the Kate Moss Rimmel collaborations and this is in the color 08 and I never really wore this shade I just never got into it I don't know why I just didn't grab for it but I'm going to put this aside. This is the Ofra in Mocha. It's a liquid lipstick. I'm going to get rid of this because there's like nothing left of it. This was one of my favorite liquid lipsticks that I ever received from Ofra. Such a good one. This is the Finding Ferdinand lipstick that I just received. It's a rose gold. And I just got this in, I think, my Ipsy. And it is so pretty. There's like a little bit of a sparkle in it and I really like it. It's just like, a, it kind of reminds me of like a little lip tint, not a lipstick. 
Um, I have the Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in the color Matte Pretty. And it's in this shade. I don't ever wear this, ever. So I am going to toss it. This is the Wander Beauty Lipstick in Barely There. And it's just another really pretty nude. It's right there. Wonder Beauty has really great lipsticks. So definitely keeping that. This is the Bite Beauty Butter Lipstick in Hazelnut. And as you guys can tell, I've used a lot of it. This is a really pretty nude shade. Definitely keeping this. I got this one from TJ Maxx. And it's right there. Love it. One of my favorites. Guys, we're almost at the bottom. I mean, it doesn't seem like it, but we are. This is the Kylie Liquid Lipstick in the color Mary. I actually got this from Anne, from um, Anne's channel, and, and from the channel Just Anne. She gave me this. I'm definitely keeping that. Um, here is a Bite Beauty Lipstick in the color Colis. Just a really pretty red. Nice creamy little red right there. Definitely keeping that. Just all Bite Beauty has like the same packaging. They're just red. They're just gray, like a soft gray. Um, here is another Bite Beauty in Chai right here. Another nude. Keeping that one. Definitely any Bite Beauty I'm keeping. And here is the Bite Beauty in Cafe. Just a really pretty nude. Love this shade. This is the color 902 from Dose or Deuce. Never really wore it. It's just too pink and shiny for me. So I'm going to put it aside for somebody else. This is the Real Her Lipstick Be Yourself. Um, be Yourself, Be Real Her. And it's just a red lipstick. I'm going to put this aside for somebody else. It's a good lipstick. I just have so many reds. So I'm definitely going to put this aside for somebody. But the packaging is really cute. Um, okay, we have the Rimmel London lipstick in... I don't know. But it looks like this. And I'm going to keep that. I really like Rimmel lipsticks. This is another... Doucet lipstick, and this is in the color. I don't know what color this is. It doesn't say the color on it, but I wore this all the time. Like, all oh, it's so dry. Oh my gosh, it's so dry. I couldn't even put it on there, but that's the color. That stinks. I'm gonna have. I didn't know lipsticks could go dry like that. I'm gonna toss that. Um, here is a NYX soft matte lip cream. It's brand new. It's red. I think I have one, so I'm gonna put this aside for somebody else. This is the Makeup Forever color in C211. I just received this and I absolutely love this shade. This shade is really pretty. Really like this shade so much. It's right there. One swipe and you're done. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a 30 minute video. Um, this is the L'Oreal Paris lipstick and it's just this really like very nude shade. It's in the color masterpiece or matte or piece and i'm gonna put this aside i think my mom would look really pretty in that this is the tardiest lip paint in the color i don't know what the color is but it's this red one right here and i'm tossing it because i've had it for so long that this can't be good um here is the nyx extreme shine lip cream and it's just a red lip cream and it's in the color spicy spicy e piece or spicy e piece and I'm gonna keep that. This is another one of those Sephora little red lipsticks I'm gonna put aside. This is the Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in, I have no idea, Matte Classy. And it looks like this. Oh, that's hard. And there it is, right? That shade right there. I'm gonna get rid of it. Cause that smells like a crayon, like a bad crayon. This is the NYX Lip Smacking Fun Colors and it's in the color Lapis Labelle. I have no idea. And it is this bright 
orange, but I'm going to keep this because this is a fun color and I should be wearing more colors like that. But look, it's not as bright as you think it would be. So look how pretty that is though. I would totally wear that. Okay. Definitely keeping this. Um, this is the Noya lipstick in the color current news. I never really wore this. It's just like a purple, a deep purple. Kind of looked black when I first saw it, but it's like a berry. It's right there. I'm not gonna keep that one just because I have a lot of shades like this and I don't grab for it because it's so small, but I think I may give it to my mama. Next is this Tardiest Lip Paint in the color Namaste. I'm going to get rid of this because I've had it for so long and I never wore it. Never wore that shade. It was just too light for me. This is the NYX Velvet Matte Lipstick in the color Volcano. It's just a very deep red right here. It's more like a brown red, and I'm going to get rid of this one. I've had it for way too long. Here is the Ipsy Unzipped Ofra Liquid Lipstick. I'm going to keep this one just because, I don't know, I like the color. Here is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color San Paolo. I already have this and I used this one until it was dry. This one is dry. Here is another Kiss Me lipstick in the color Lux, and I am not keeping this. I don't like the formula. Here are Ultimate Stay lipsticks by Catrice. I have the color Beauty in Every Pink and Looks Like Coral, and they're these two shades. right here. Those are so pretty. I'm definitely going to keep these. I've had these for a really long time, but I don't pick these up anymore because I just don't, but they're bright and really pretty. And Catrice makes some really good lipsticks. I, I do know they make some really good lipsticks. So there we go. We have two bright shades right there. I can use that in the spring or the summer. Really pretty pop of color. Here is another lick, an, another licks, a NYX butter lipstick in the color Lifeguard. It's a red I'm going to toss this to the side so someone else can use it. Here is a Beauty Bang lipstick in the shade Bomber. This is a really pretty metallic red. I really like this shade. It's just so pretty. It's got like a gold in it and I really do like this. I just don't wear it often because I have so many so I'm going to put this up where I can see it. Here's another Wander Beauty dual ended lipstick in Nikki Beach and BB, these are just really pretty colors right here. I love these shades. So pretty. Right there, totally keeping those for sure. Here is the NYX Full Throttle lipstick in the color Con Artist. And these, I, these, Lipsticks, they break and they're just not good, so I'm t I'm definitely tossing this one. I have the Makeup Forever Liquid Lipstick in the color Artist. That's right here. I'm going to keep this because I don't have very many liquid lipsticks from Makeup Forever. I have the Too Faced Lipstick in Drunk Dial, and it's just this beautiful purple. I love this shade, so I'm definitely keeping this. I need to use this more because I don't use it, and the packaging is gorgeous. I just need, I need to use that. Um, here is another Tardiest Lip Paint in, I can't see, but I'm going to get rid of it because this has to be bad by now. I've had this forever. Here is the Melted Latex, Latex in Hot Mess by Too Faced. I don't, I don't, just don't like this formula at all, so I'm going to put this to the side. Here is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lipstick in... Bazers or Bizers, and this is a great shade. I love this. It's so pretty. It's so comfortable. Definitely keeping this one. Wet n Wild lipstick in the color Dark Wine. I've had this forever, so I'm going to get rid of this one. But it's not a bad shade, and it does not wear bad. It's not a bad, lip, it's not a bad um, lipstick. This is Naked Dolly by Too Faced, and it's just a nude. right there. You can barely see it. It's so nude. It's very light. So I'm going to put this aside for somebody else because I just probably wouldn't wear it. This is the Smashbox lipstick in B. 
Be Legendary. And this is a really pretty matte shade. I'm definitely keeping this. Definitely keeping this so pretty right there. Really pretty nude matte lipstick. Love it so much. Keeping it. Here is the... It's a ruby lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a red, really beautiful red. Definitely keeping this one. So pretty. Um, we're almost done, guys. I have two tardiest lip paints. One is, they're right here. I, I can't read the color, but this one is, this is Throwback Thursday, and I wore this shade every day. It was my favorite shade. Such a good shade. So if you haven't used these, these are so comfortable. They do not feel like a liquid lipstick, but these are just so old. I got to get rid of them. So here we go. Two liquid lip, um, two tardiest lip paints. Um, here's a real her lipstick. The top fell off in mauve. I'm going to keep this color. Here is a Laca and company lipstick. And this is just a really deep berry and it's right there i'm going to toss it not toss it when i keep saying toss it but i'm not going to toss it. i'm going to give them away to my family this little lipstick here is a flower beauty in warm sand i'm going to put this aside for my mom or my sister because it's a very pretty nude it's just shiny and i just don't wear it often so i'm going i find these can be a little bit too light for my skin tone put that to the side here is a LA Splash in the Strawberry Colada. I do not like these at all. And this is like a bright neon. Like, it's not, there's, it does not say, it, it shouldn't be Strawberry Colada because there's no red. It, it's more like a bright coral color. Okay, here is the Cherry Red in Bezeme Cosmetics. I don't even remember where I got this. This was so long ago. I think this was one of from one of my first subscription boxes ever. And um, yeah, it's old and chunky and I'm gonna put that in the trash because I don't think anyone should put that on their lips. When I first started getting subscription boxes, I wore red lipsticks all the time. You can go back into my, um, my videos and see it. Okay, this is the Velvet Matte Lipstick for by NYX and it's just this pink color right here right there and I'm gonna keep that because it's just pretty and it's pretty much brand new I'm gonna keep this this is the Rimmel oh nope this is a Catrice Catrice ultimate stay and it's this really pretty purple right here I'm gonna put this aside and maybe give it to one of my sisters because I have so many shades like this and it's really pretty and I think that it will look really pretty on one of my sisters. They have dark hair like me. Um, here is the Deuce. And I don't know what shade this is. But it's a Deuce lip lipstick and it is this color right here. It's kind of like a spicy color, like an orange spice. Very pretty. I'm going to keep this. I have a Makeup Forever... Oh, I have two of these in C211. I, I got this in my Sephora, and then I got this in my Allure. So I'm going to put this one, the C211, it looks like this, aside. It's still brand new. And I'm going to let one of my sisters have it, or my mom. This is the Bare Minerals in Seriously Red, and it is Seriously Red. I'm going to keep it. This is another Catrice, and it is in the color behind the red curtains and this is just a red right here if you guys want cheap good lipsticks go with catrice ultimate stay because they're really good i'm going to put this aside because i have so many reds um here is the maybelline super stay matte ink in the color dreamer and it's this really pretty rosy pink i really like this shade it doesn't look great on me but I'm going to keep it anyway. And here is the Tardiest Lip Paint in the color I um in the color Grand. And I'm going to keep this because this is fairly new and I got this in one of my subscription boxes. Here is the color Mauve Your Lips by Catrice and this is a this is actually really pretty. I'm going to put it right here. It's right there. And it's just a really pretty mauve color. I'm going to Put this aside because I have so many of the same colors and I'm going to give it to one of my sisters. And the last two are these ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipsticks. One is in Creeper, I believe. Creeper and this one is in 
I don't know the colors the the name is gone but these are super old and I'm going to put these aside and probably throw those out and guys that is it I did my lipstick decolor my lipstick declutter look how what a big difference this is ready I made a huge dent in my lipsticks Maybe not as big of a dent as I wanted to, but I definitely made a dent. And I think that all of the other lipsticks that I want, but I'm gonna give away to my family, they'll go to good use. The ones that are old, I'll get rid of them. But I think I did a really good job. I've been keeping, I've been hoarding lipsticks for like two, three years. So I am so excited to finally have that done. It's been sitting here for a while. And I can't wait to get my hands on all the ones that I haven't used in a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is something you like to see, please let me know because I have so much makeup I'd like to go through and declutter. This is such a great idea and it gets you to the stuff that you used to love and brings back memories. And then you get to just, you get to empty out some of your your products so that you can actually start using stuff you're not using so I think it was a great idea I think it's a great video if you like these kind of videos let me know in the comments below I hope everyone's having a really great day thank you so much for watching and I hope I didn't bore you to death if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video bye